What's up, folks? We are uh, back on Crab Orchard. Actually, my home lake, for those that have just started following three pound fishing or have followed for a while and you just missed those particular episodes, Crab Orchard is, uh, is my home lake. It's where I started uh, fishing. And I love coming back here to kind of remind me of, I guess, how you feel when you, when you start fishing and you're not um, fishing so hard, I guess. Sometimes you feel, you know, you're, you're guiding, you're doing all these things and uh, you lose track of uh, how crappie fishing makes you feel. Um, and when it was like, when it was uh, surprising, you didn't have live scope, you didn't have all these things. And we, and uh, when I was on Crab Orchard, we didn't have all those things. And so it was always, it was just an awesome feeling when you, you knew, when you would catch fish. So I love coming out here right now. It's just a, um, I don't know, it's a decompression. Now this is a, a lake that you cannot guide on. So the only time I come out here now is when I wanna escape back to uh, the past. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. That's what it's about today, is really just about uh, decompressing and remembering what crappie fishing uh, was when you started learning it. Totally reminds me of it. So thanks for joining me. It's still gonna be a great episode. We're gonna still put some big slabs in the boat, but it's definitely about uh, taking in some of the sights, remembering some of the piles that I used to fish. And that is, uh, that, to me, that's exciting, exciting stuff. So. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. That is an awesome, <laughs> check out that crab slab, baby. First fish in the boat today. <laughs> if that don't bring back memories, good night. So the, <sighs> we're gonna let this guy go, but. So primarily on, you know, this time of year on Crab Orchard anyway, for me, it's, it's just structure fishing. It's a relatively shallow lake. You do somewhat need to be careful about where you're going. Although the buoys, there's a lot of places here that the buoys mark pretty well. So it's a muddy water lake. I mean, it really is. I mean, it might not be classified as muddy, but definitely is classified as stained. So it um, gives me to check it out. I'll show you something here on uh, Active Capital. Let's do that, why don't we? All right, so I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of what we're looking at here. Um, you know, again, it's a combination of structure and stake beds and there is a stake bed. So really all I'm looking for at this point is um, something that's horizontal in those stake beds. So all those stakes are going vertical and I'm looking for something that's kind of sitting horizontal in it. Now, it, it gets a little cloudy down there deep, but I'm gonna assume there's some fish down there. Obviously you can see some fish down there at 12, but um, and there's one right there. So you just dip right all the way down. Now this is a small little guy, but um, you can start to see at the at the three foot mark. You know, there's some catfish down there. Maybe this fish ha this lake has just about everything. Um, it's a little bitty guy, but it's still fun. You still, I mean, you get to feel the thump here at this lake, and a lot of combination of white ant. So I see a good fish there at 11 feet. Hopefully, you guys can see the same thing. And um, I, I will favor a, a heavier, bigger size, which is a 1 16th for me. I can see it getting down all the way in there right now. And there's one. That's about it. These, so these guys are down there, down there at the very bottom of the stake bed. Definitely not sitting up high. And that is a slab. That is a white crappie crab slab, as I like to call it. And so don't, don't let people tell you that there's nothing but small fish on crab orchard. Because um, that is not the case. 
and I'm right where they are right now. I feel where they're at. And there it is. This is another good one. Pretty good active captain footage here. And again, I'm gonna show you what I'm fishing with here. So you can check this guy on my website, it's called the clown. It's, and, and the reason why is because it just doesn't make any sense. The color scheme was probably one of the very first color schemes I ever came up with, you know, that I thought about and I didn't, didn't make any sense once I looked at it and so I called it the clown. So there I am right there. We're just seeing if any of these guys are interested. Crab Orchard is a lake that you could even use a 1 8 ounce jig head, really. Here's another big bite. Um, a lot of people will. In fact, I might even try that today just because out of curiosity. I don't get to use the 1 8 very often. Good fish. I have my 13 footers here, but I actually am fishing with my 10 footer, even though we're vertical fishing, because on this lake, for some reason, you can get right on top of them. All right, guys, here's a double jig setup. Very unique to, I think, Crab Orchard. Um, it, in fact, it's the only lake that I actually use it. So I'll go ahead and thread this through the line through, and I will do this with braid, and I tie them exactly right to the uh, jigs. There's no leader here. I bring it all the way up here. I want as much leader as I can work with right here. And I do my typical loop knot right there. Okay, wherever I want this bait to be. And again, I'm really just looking to have a lot of leader to work with for my last one. So there it is. Again, I'm targeting that half inch maybe. And there it is. There's the jig just hanging on the middle of the line. Now I have all this line to work with right now. And ideally, I'm looking for about 18 inches maybe, 12 inches, 80, 18 inches is probably the sweet spot for me in terms of separation. I don't want that jig to spook the fish. So I'm, I'm targeting 18 because you just don't want to, I, I just think a fish focuses in on one bait and it, you know, the, the idea that you could possibly spook it is there when, when you do a double jig setup. Of course, the other downside of a double jig setup is that you would lose two jigs. So these are two hair jigs, you know, they take a lot of time <laughs> to build. And, um, and a lot of money if you're buying them. So you have to be aware that you will possibly lose two versus one. But on this lake, Crab Orchard, it is what we started using. I mean, that was it, man. Uh, even if you were flipping and casting, double jig, double jig, double jig. And um, that is definitely something that you can use here on Crab Orchard. Uh, rule of thumb really for me getting on top of fish vertical jigging on this lake is nine foot if the fish are at least nine foot down Look at this thing just got hit <laughs> um, Then you can get right on top of them and That's not true on every lake, but for this lake. That's that's my rule of thumb and double jigs is definitely one of the things that we do here Guys, that's gonna end it. That's a fantastic episode on, again, a, a lake that gives me pleasure to fish and reminds me how we started this whole game. That's a great fish. You just gotta love it. Check it out, folks. Check out Crab Orchard and get out to the lakes that you fished when you started crappie fishing. Trust me when I say that it'll remind you of what the sport was about when you were so excited about catching those slabs. So thanks guys, appreciate you. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.